frozen one orchard in Apple Hill continues to face questions about its, its juice and E. coli. Tonight we're hearing from a teen who says she came down with the illness after drinking apple cider from High Hill Ranch. KCRI 3's Dana Griffin talked with her about the ordeal. 13-year-old Julia Maddox says her battle with E. coli was straight out of a movie. My mom said it reminded me of her of the Bridesmaids movie because of what it looked like. Because it was like I had projectile vomiting. She and her family visited High Hill Ranch on October 11th. Everyone had some sort of apple treat, but Maddox says she was the only one to drink hot cider. Two days later, they noticed I had no color in my face. My lips had almost no color in them, and so they just got me in there, and I could barely stand up. I was almost fainting. Unpasteurized juice sold at High Hill Ranch tested positive for E. coli by El Dorado County Environmental Health. Some of the seven who contracted the bacterial infection want High Hill Ranch to pay their medical bills. I think they should because it was their fault that I got sick. But Maddox's mom says the ranch told her to get an attorney. The owner tells us that didn't happen. The ranch is now selling another company's pasteurized juice, and the Environmental Health Division is testing two other samples. The results are still pending. They need to have more caution with what they're doing. Like it was a lot of pain and it hurt really bad. The High Hill Ranch owner tells me that the free sample jug that was used by hundreds of people that day was not a source for the E. coli, but as a precaution, they're doing away with free samples indefinitely to prevent any future contamination. In El Dorado County, I'm Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. Two weeks before the test results came back, High Hill Ranch voluntarily recalled its unpasteurized apple juice because seven people had gotten ill.